Hi Mississauga, I'm Public Education Officer Sean Grack. I'm Christian Creason, Fire Inspector with the City of Mississauga Fire and Emergency Services. It's Fire Prevention Week and the theme this year is Cooking Safety Starts With You. So pay attention to fire prevention. We're here at Fire Station 120 and we're going to be making a popular Polish dish, kielbasa and potatoes. And if you didn't know, Polish is one of the top five languages here in Mississauga and Inspector Krasin is of Polish descent and is going to bring all of those expertise to the dish we're making today. Sounds good, let's get started. So we're getting ready to make this popular Polish dish and Inspector Krasin, what are some of the ingredients we need to make it happen? So over here we got some, uh, some spices, we got su uh, salt, so su. We got some olive oil, so olives, olivek. We got some uh, garlic here, so chosnek. We got some Italian seasoning, paprika, some pepper, so we got some pieprz. And we got some onions already diced up, so we got some sabula, uh, sauerkraut, which is kapusta. And uh, we got the potatoes already pre-boiled here, so jemiaki. And then we got last but not least, the kielbasa. Before making any meal in the kitchen that requires using the stove or the oven, do a quick perimeter check around the appliance to make sure that it's free from anything that can burn and easily start a kitchen fire. Things like a wooden spoon, tea towels, or even oven mitts. Absolutely. Zanim zaczniemy gotować, trzeba zawsze sprawdzić koło kuchenki, żeby nic, żadne rzeczy nie dotykały i żeby wszystko było czyste i zorganizowane. So we're getting ready to start making the potatoes and kielbasa recipe. And the first thing is we want to make sure that we have our stainless steel pot on the stove. We want to turn our heat to medium to high heat, put in maybe two tablespoons of olive oil, coat those potatoes and get them cooking. Tak, pierwsza rzecz, zaczynamy, dajemy palnik na średnią temperaturę, dodajemy olej z oliwek do patelni, I potem dodajemy ziemniaki już gotowane. I za, zaczynajmy mieszać. When you're cooking in the kitchen, it's so important to make sure that the pot handle is turned towards the back of the stove to make sure that nobody accidentally knocks it over and that the hot contents in the pan or pot don't fall on you, a child, or a pet. Yeah, that's right. Jak gotujemy w kuchni, jest bardzo ważne, żeby wziąć uchwyt patelni i od siebie odwrócić w czasie gotowania, jak się odchodzi od kuchenki, żeby nikt nie zawadził i żeby nie spadło i uderzyło jakieś dziecko albo coś, co jest pobliżu. So as you can see, our potatoes are sizzling and they're getting nice and soft and also golden brown. And Inspector Crayson, what would be the next major ingredient to add to our recipe? Next major ingredient here, we have our famous kielbasa. So just go ahead and throw that in. Teraz dodajemy kielbasę do ziemniaku i mieszamy wszystko razem. We're gonna stir it up. And what do we want to do with that kielbasa to make sure that it gets wet? We're gonna make sure that we're gonna keep cooking it until it gets a nice, uh, nice color, so like a golden brown. Będziemy mieszać teraz i patrzeć na kielbasę, dopóki będzie dostaje trochę koloru. Unattended cooking is the leading cause of home fires and home injuries. So it's so critical that you stand by your pan and look while you cook. And if you have to leave for any reason, turn off the stove before you go. It's bardzo ważne, żeby uh, nigdy nie odchodzić od kuchenki jak się gotuje, ale jak trzeba odejść od kuchenki, wyłączamy uh, palnik i wtedy możemy wyjść. It's important to have a lid nearby just in case you experience a grease fire. Never throw water or flour on a grease fire because it could make things worse. To protect your hands, wear oven mitts before you try to put out the grease fire. And you can take the lid and slide a lid on the pot to smother the flame and turn off the heat source. Absolutely. It's very important when we to have a lid the kitchen or the Najlepsza rzecz jest, żeby przykryć i wtedy wyłączyć gaz. Things are smelling delicious here in our kitchen here at Fire Station 120. We already have our major ingredients in our pan. We have our kielbasa and our potatoes. 
and we're going to add a little bit of more flavor with our onion, our garlic, some paprika, and also some Italian seasoning. That's right. Teraz dodajemy uh, cebulkę. Razem z cebulą będziemy dodawać uh, czosnek. I uh, dodajemy papryki trochę teraz. I tutaj mamy Italian seasoning. And as you can see, everything is starting to come together. And we're really going to give that a stir and let it simmer and also let all of those flavors infuse together. Wszystkie zapachy uh, bardzo dobrze pachną i za niedługo będzie gotowe. It's so important when you're cooking at all times to stay alert and that includes saving the alcoholic beverage for when it's time to enjoy the meal. It will taste better with your meal. And also avoid taking any medication that can make you drowsy. That's right. Jest bardzo ważne przed gotowaniem, żeby nie spożywać żadnego alkoholu i żeby nie brać żadnych lekarstw, co mogło spowodować nas, żeby być sennym. Dopiero po gotowaniu wtedy możemy napić się jakiegoś alkoholu, jak zachęcamy. Once plated, we're going to add a little bit of salt, pepper, and we're going to add a little bit of a sauerkraut as our garnish. That's right. Jesteśmy teraz w ostatnim kolejności tutaj w gotowaniu. Dajemy teraz na talerz wszystko. Okay. Dodajemy teraz trochę soli. Pieprzu. I kapusta na końcu. Wow, Sean, this recipe turned out really good. It really does. And you know what? We encourage all of you to try it at home. And don't worry if you're not the best cook, your smoke alarm will still cheer you on. Remember to install working smoke alarms on every level of your home and outside all sleeping areas because it's the law in Ontario. Test your smoke alarm once a month and change the batteries twice a year because working smoke alarms save lives. That's right. Jest bardzo ważne, żeby zainstalować alarm przeciwpożarowy w domu na każdym piętrze i w każdym pokoju, gdzie się śpi. I również trzeba sprawdzać baterie dwa razy w roku. From all of us here at Mississauga Fire and Emergency Services, stay safe. Smacznego, dziękujemy.